Hey guys, Ramblin' Bob here again. Okay, so this is a cool new item. It's called the Nostalgia. It's a mini refrigerator. Like, guys, when I was a kid in the 70s, people had these from earlier, like in the 50s and 60s and stuff. We had refrigerators that literally looked like this. I remember hanging like my schoolwork on the fridges like this, but they were like obviously full size. They weighed as much as a Cadillac, but man, it really kept your soda pop cool. So check this out. It's like a mini thing, okay? So you got a handle on top. I'm excited about this one. All right, and then on the back, you got your uh, AC, that's for your wall, the 110, 120 volt, which is uh, standard. So you can run it off your power station's AC, or you can also, as you see, DC 12 volt. So you can run this off of your cigarette lighter. So you have two options back here. It's very simple. Uh, you have your hot and your cold. When you click it, the light will turn on. We'll show that in a minute. And then you have a little cooling fan. So basically, there's like a little baby little... Uh, you know, almost like a little air conditioner built into this little thing. Look how cute that is. That's pretty cool, man. All right, so let's see what we get inside. So we open up the 1950s here. Oh, look at that. We got a shelf and some cords. So you got your DC plug here, and then you got your AC plug. Let's open up these bad boys here. I'm excited about this because when I, when I travel, I like soda pop. Everybody who knows me knows I like soda pop. And what kind of soda pop do I like, guys? That's right, Dr. Pepper. Cherry Dr. Pepper on top of that. But I'll accept anything cherry. But cherry Dr. Pepper, I think, is one of the best sodas ever made in history. You know, it's like hundreds of years old now already. It's crazy. All right. So here's your DC one. That's your DC port for your cigarette lighter, for a power station or your car or whatever. And then here's your AC one, okay? And then inside your system here, or your system, your 1950s retro fridge here, you got a little shelf that you can take out. So that way if you have a taller one, you know, like, like a, you know how the milk and orange juice comes in a little taller thing? Well, it's not going to fit if you got that in there. So you could take that out and then, you know, put the taller ones in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a test as far as the capacity. All right, let's see what fits in there. So, but now I have a little bit of bad news for you guys. At least it's bad news for me. So, when I went to the store today and I bought soda pop, which I buy often. They were out of Dr. Pepper, guys. They were out of Dr. Pepper regular. They were out of Dr. Pepper cherry. So if we could please, a moment of silence. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I love Dr. Pepper. Uh, they had cherry Coke. So this is like my backup plan here, cherry Coke. Uh, it's okay, but man, I'm a Dr. Pepper fan. You know, I just, you know, you, you, you like what you like, right? Thanks for this moment of silence. Hopefully it'll be full next time I go back. Okay, so let's open up this bad boy here. Let's get these little soda pops. And see, it's designed especially for 12 volt cans. Or 12 volt, oh my gosh, 12 ounce cans. I wish they put 12 volt cans. They could power your, your house off of soda. They power me, I'll tell you that. All right, now notice that fits absolutely perfect for four of those, see that? It fits absolutely flush because that's what it was designed for. So this, and then maybe like two sandwiches will fit in there. Let's see if we can get more soda in there. Oh, don't tell anybody. Holy crap, you could put six sodas in there. Half a case of soda, guys. Or, as uh, people call it that know me, about 30 minutes of uh, liquid. Okay, so, you gotta love something. I love soda. Okay, so now that you know that you can put f six little cans in there, that's pretty cool, man. That's 72 ounces of soda pop. Uh, I'm going to take them out before my wife comes. She yells at me when I drink too much soda pop. But when they love you, they yell. All right. So now we know that it fits. Ugh. A little tough to get them out there. Okay, so you can fit all of this stuff. That's a six-pack. You know what else will fit? Six-pack of beer, guys. Okay. So, let's try, let's see, let's try, let's try, try the AC first. Let's see what this bad boy, that thing went flying. Okay, here we go. Let's try the, uh, the AC and see what we're pulling as far as the wattage. Okay, now, as I said, let's put this out of the way here. All right. So, as I said, you put the AC in there, and then you have these two options. Hopefully you can see that okay. Let me hold it by the handle. 
So you have your two options right here, which is hot or cold. So say you will have like, uh, say you bought a hot ham and egg uh, sandwich or something, you know, and you want to keep it warm for a few hours till you get to work or something like that, or, you know, the beach or wherever you're going, you can put it on hot. I like soda pop, so I always put it to cold. Now notice the light pops on and the little fan pops on. It's not too noisy. Here, I'll be real quiet so you can hear it. It's not too bad at all. Kind of like background. And if I got the music on in the car like I always do, you're not going to hear that anyway. So let's see what we're pulling. We are pulling. If I can get close enough here. We are pulling 53 watts. Okay, so 53 watts at... Now this is 110. I have that hooked to my power station, so... Uh, it might pull a little bit more, probably 55 on 120 volt, but now we know it works. So let's turn that off. And it takes about maybe, I want to say a half an hour to get, uh, you know, like uh, chilled enough for soda pop and stuff like that. But uh, let's try the DC. Now for the DC, obviously we can't go in the AC. I'll try not to throw stuff this time. Okay, so now we got this guy right here. So we're going to turn that on and turn that on. Oh, you know what? If you can, if it's available, always plug in stuff before you access the power, just in case. All right, safety tip. All right, so this will go in here. Now, as you can see, now DC has a left and a right. There's a positive and negative, and it's very important that you don't get it mixed up. So what they did is they, see that little notch they cut in there? That little notch makes it so you can't plug it in the wrong way that's nice because if you plug it in the wrong way oh boy all right so now it's plugged in you hit that little bad boy right there the power station turns on let's go to cold again that way we can have some soda pops all right and we're drawing look at that 50 watts i don't know if you can see that let me see if i can hold this up here can you, can you guys see that well that's hard to see okay so it's about 50 watts 49 right now you know that comes and goes it changes but, uh, you know, as the system gets uh, cooler, it, it'll kind of probably slow down. I don't think a system this small will slow down. Oh, it's at 48. But, uh, you know, as the system kind of warms up, kind of like a compressor or a car, it starts out high and then kind of ramps down a little bit, you know, idles down. All right, yep, 47, look at it go. Okay, so now we know that that works. Let's unplug this bad boy. Let's put this over here, hopefully not throw it this time. All right. These things, boy, they're slippery. All right, put that back in there. And now you know that you can take all of these guys. I think this is really cool. If you have kids, man, this is cool for the back seat. You know, keep them quiet for a while, you know what I mean? And then you can, look at you can sneak. Don't tell my wife, though. You can sneak two more in the top area here. Look at that, boom. That's half a case of soda. Well, that's my review, guys. It's a very simple product, but I'll tell you what. Uh, nostalgia, that's a hell of a good word because, uh, as I said, in the 70s, I remember hanging my homework on a fridge that looks just like this, except ours was white. We didn't have that green. But, boy, you remember the colors they had in the houses back then? Oh, boy. It seems like they only had about four colors. You remember that, that, that real funny-looking brown? And then you had this green. And then you had the real basic white. And then... Uh, you know, like the, the plaid pants, oh, well, you know, the plaid pants and everything. I'm going down memory lane too far. All right, guys, check this one out, man. I'll put a link in the description. Feel free to check it out. I like it. I think it's fun. If you have kids, I think it's great for the back seat. And uh, your plug is, let's see, it's about uh, six feet, the DC plug. So you can very easily run that from your cigarette lighter all the way to the back seat and keep them quiet. They could sit back there and play their Nintendos and all their stuff, their Switches or whatever they got nowadays. And uh, the AC for when you get home or when you get where you got to go. All right, that's cool. The mini fridge by Nostalgia. I like it, guys. Thumbs up. I didn't really see anything bad other than 50 watts is a little heavy. But it's, you know, this is a temporary thing. You're not going to, you know, go fishing with it and, uh, you know, power it for three weeks on your power station. This is a temporary thing. So great for traveling or something like that, you know, or leave it on for a few hours. But I wouldn't leave it on for a day. That's a lot of power for a little thing like that. But as far as a novelty cool product all right guys the door works good Ooh, the soda see it's ready to come out you know what i'm gonna try this one i'm gonna see if it works maybe i should review this next
All right, guys. <laughs> Ramble on. Be safe. And I will see you on the next Rambling Bob Reviews. Bye. Thank you.